I got another thumbs up. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. Well, happy Sunday morning to you. Feliz Domingo por la mañana. And we want to welcome all you, all those of you that are joining us by audio and video. Yes. Prepare yourselves to receive what God has for you. Amen. Welcome to New Beginnings Church of the Big Ben. Bienvenidos a la iglesia del nuevo comienzo. Amen. Prepárese a recibir lo que el Señor tenga para usted. And he's got great things for you all the yeah. time. Amen. He's got, he wants to bless you. And uh, he wants to encourage you. He wants to change you. He wants to correct us. Amen. Amen. Así es que prepárese a recibir lo que el Señor tenga para usted. Nos quiere bendecir. Nos quiere animar. Nos quiere cambiar y nos quiere corregir. Así es que algo es para usted. Amen. Amen. So prepare yourselves to receive. I'm happy. I'm cheerful. And uh, before we do that, grab your source, ch uh, church, yeah. and say like a minute. Yeah. Amen. This is my Bible. I have what it says I have. I have what it says I have. I can do what it says I can do. Today, I'll be taught the word of God. I fall into this. Yes. My mind's alert. My spirit is receptive. And I'll never be the same in Jesus' name. Amen. Always, your mind be alert. Because it's a spiritual battle on a daily basis. He comes to steal, kill, and destroy. And he's going to use your mind. He can't force you to make, to do anything, but he's going to put thoughts, amen, so we must renew our minds to the word of God, amen, amen. otherwise, this negative world always has something for you, amen, yes. and if you don't renew your mind to the word of God, or feed your spirit the word of God, your flesh is just going to say, well, I'm just going to go with the flow, I'm going to go with the easy, because mm -hmm. the, the flesh always wants it easy and relaxing, mm -hmm. and just wants to go along, amen, hallelujah, praise God. Uh, praise the Lord. Amen. I don't need thumbs right now. <clears throat> Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. So be blessed, be encouraged, be changed, church. Amen. Amen. Praise God. So here it goes. Give it up. Give it all to him. Amen. Well, let me say it like this. Give it up. Give it all up. And give it up all to him. Amen. It's a story of new beginnings on a daily basis. Amen. As we give it up to him. Does the weight of your cares, problems, and burdens feel overwhelming? Then don't try to carry it by yourself. Give it all up to him. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. So we are to cast it on him. We're going to read a few scriptures in a few minutes. But let me tell you, he tells us to cast it on him. And listen to this. The uh, definition of cast, mm -hmm. I'm going to read it to you. And it goes like this. Cast. Mm -hmm. Cast the cares on him. Cast the shed or to throw with force. All right. Not just lay it or maybe give it. It says cast it. Mm -hmm. means throw it with force. You know when you cast your fishing line, yeah. you just don't drop it. You uh -huh. cast it out as far as you want to throw it. So when you cast your sins on him, throw them as hard as you, as you can. Amen? Amen. With force involves action on my part. I choose. My choice is to cast it on him. So that's my action. Amen. Uh, cares, cast those cares on him. Anxieties, problems, troubles, and worries. Mm -hmm. I know none of you have any of those, but I'm going to talk to you about some of these things. Amen. <laughs> so yeah. let's let's uh, read together, church. You open your Bibles to uh, uh, one of our texts. It's First Peter. Open your Bibles. Yes, we teach the Word. Yes, we teach and open our Bibles. Amen. All those that are watching by video or, or listening by audio, yes, we use the Word of God. Yes. That's the only thing we use, the Word yes. of God. Amen. So open your Bibles to First Peter. And you, you, you know you know these scriptures very well. But let's read them together. Amen. Amen. First Peter and 5, seven. Uh, 5, 7 through 9. Amen. 5, 7 through 9. Praise God. All right. Well, let's start with six. Yeah. <laughs> it says, humble yourself, therefore, under the mighty hand of God, that he may exalt you in due time. Yeah. And then it says seven, casting all your cares upon him, casting all your care upon him, for he careth for you. Uh -huh. And verse eight says, be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about seeking who he may devour. Oh, wow. Remember when he comes, John 10, 10 tells us, he comes to steal, steal kill, destroy. destroy. Who's your enemy? 
The devil. Who's your only enemy? The devil. Okay? Your brothers and sisters are not your enemies, okay? Right. It's the devil. <laughs> and verse 9 says, Who resists steadfast uh, in the faith, knowing that the same afflictions are uh, accomplished in your brethren mm -hmm. that are in the world. Amen? Yeah. So I'm going to read it here for you in a easier understanding. Hopefully you can understand whichever is easy, but the easy reading version says this. Giving, give, cast all your worries, cares, anxieties on him because he cares for you. Yeah. Verse 8 says, control yourself and be careful. The devil is your enemy. Your yeah. enemy says, your, I wrote on there, only enemy. Mm -hmm. And he comes around like a roaring lion looking for someone to yeah. attack and eat. Huh. And we know that he comes to steal, kill, destroy. Yes. If these things are happening, we know it's the devil. Yeah. <laughs> and he goes around as a roaring, roaring lion seeking who he may uh, attack and eat. Refuse. Verse 9 says, refuse to follow the devil. Mm -hmm. Refuse to listen and follow the devil. That's right. Okay, so that's what I was talking about a spiritual battle on a daily basis is he attacks the mind and that's why the Lord wants us to renew our mind yes. on a daily basis yeah. because he, put, he tries to put thoughts there and you're listening to these things. You're listening to these voices. There's many voices out there yeah. wanting your attention uh -huh. and the enemy he's to it. He puts plenty of them in there. Oh, Amen. Yeah. So be careful. Refuse to listen or to follow the, the devil. Stand strong in your faith and not fear. Remember, he's not giving us a spirit of fear, but That's of right. power and of love and of a sound mind. Amen. Amen. You know that your brothers and sisters all over the world are having the same sufferings that you have. Amen. So we need to lift ourselves up. How can we help? You know, <laughs> the Savior has already done it for us. Mm -hmm. So if you choose to follow what he's given us, mm -hmm. cast it on him so you won't have to have these things coming against you. That's right. Or have these weights on you as you fulfill whatever mission he's given you to fulfill. Amen. Amen. So, but we need to, as ambassadors, go out and, and be his mouthpiece out there in the world. Mm -hmm. But we, we can't let these problems hold us back. Amen. Because you're so concerned about your problems, you don't want to go out. You want to stay. You want to stay and you want to take it easy, you know. Or sometimes you're so fearful that you don't want to go. So he's not giving us a spirit of fear. That's right. Okay. So we need to build ourselves up. He says, stir yourself up mm -hmm. and let's go out there, you know. I'm not afraid to go, you know. <laughs> Jesus came to be sacrificed. He knew all this. And he still, on a daily basis, got up and met the Father. Amen. Lord, I need your strength. Father, I need your strength. Mm -hmm. How about us? On a daily basis, we need his strength mm -hmm. just to go and fulfill what he told us to do. So I'm getting way ahead of myself, but we're to set our priorities straight on a daily basis. Yeah. And seek him first. Yeah. Honor him. Praise him. We talked about praise last week. Praise him on a daily basis. You Amen. know, get before him. Lord, I need you. I need your strength. Amen. So now let's go. To Psalms 55 and verse 22. And Psalms is right before uh, Isaiah, Isaiah. <laughs> in the Old Testament. <laughs> right before Proverbs. Right before Proverbs. <laughs> oh, hallelujah. Let's go. Just go through the word, enjoy the word. And verse uh, 20 to 22. Mm -hmm. See what it says. We sung this song last, I think it was last week. Yeah. <laughs> have the praise team come back and we sing it. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> Psalms 55 and verse 22 says, Cast thy burden upon the Lord, and he shall sustain thee. He shall never suffer the righteous to be moved. Amen. Amen. Woo, hallelujah. Yeah. So we sang, Cast your burden on Jesus. Why? Because he cares for you. Yeah. Amen. Amen. New King James says, Cast or give your burdens on the uh, to the or on the Lord, and He shall sustain you. Mm -hmm. He shall never permit the righteous to be moved. The New Living Translation says, "Give or cast your burdens to the Lord, and He shall take care of you. He will not permit the godly to slip and fall." Mm -hmm. Amen. So, whatever that burden, whatever that care, whatever that problems, you know, yours are different than mine. Mm -hmm. But whatever it is, know that your God has already paid for it, and he wants you to cast it on him. Amen. Amen. 
So <laughs> we don't start every day with yesterday's problems. Right. We don't leave them there. Amen? Or from last year. Or whatever, how many years you still carry it. Mm -hmm. You got to let those things go. Amen? Amen? God, Jesus has already been sacrificed for all these things. Amen. And yet we're still holding on to unforgiveness. We're still mm -hmm. holding on to whatever these cares are. Let them go and start every day fresh. Amen. You know? You got a fresh mission on a daily basis. How can I fulfill my mission if I'm, if I'm too concerned about mm -hmm. what yesterday was or the past? You know, you got to let it, let it totally go. Amen. I don't want all those weights on me. I'm going to run my mission. And as a runner, I don't need all that extra weights on me. As a child of God, I don't need to be carrying these things that I'm supposed to be obedient and cast on him. Mm -hmm. Amen. Hallelujah. Boy, this is good. <laughs> Now, let's go to Hebrews and chapter 12. Well, we're going through some journeys here. Eh? Mm -hmm. From one, <clears throat> from Old Testament, New Testament, back to the New Testament. Hebrews. <laughs> ah, hallelujah. Praise God. What chapter? Uh, Hebrews chapter 12. Oh, we're familiar with all these, but yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna, uh, well, I'm going to read it this this way first. Let's see. <clears throat> Hebrews 12 verses 1 and 2. Wherefore, seeing we also are compassed about with so so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight mm -hmm. and the sin which doth so easily besets us and let us run with patience the race that is set before us. Yes. Number and, uh, two says, looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and in and is set down at the right hand of the throne of God. Yes. Amen. So we'll stop right there. I'll read it to you from the Amplified. Amen. I've already got it written. So Jesus, our greatest example, remember, he's our greatest example, and we're to be imitators of Christ. Yeah. Amen. We're to be imitators. You know, don't tell me uh, <clears throat> you're setting your ways, and, and you was born this way, and you can never change. <laughs> and you must not be reading the Word of God. That's right. As a child of God, if, you, if you're a child of God, and, and you're still in your old ways, then uh, you need to read what the Word of God says, because yeah. there's got to be some change. Yeah. Amen. And we're to be imitators of Him. Amen. And we're to uh, come off the throne and set him on the throne. Amen. Amen. <laughs> and verse uh, 1, it says, Therefore, since we are surrounded by such great a cloud of witnesses, who by faith have testified to the truth of God's absolute faithfulness, mm -hmm. stripping off every unnecessary weight, yeah. the problems, the cares, the burdens, all these things that have just come around you, just like leeches, you know, and just try to mm. catch on to you and hold on to you. And put this extra weight, extra problem on you. Mm -hmm. And the sin which so easily and cleverly entangles us. Mm -hmm. Let us run with endurance, uh, <clears throat> duration, the race that is set before us. So, we're not to give up, don't quit. We've got to right. press on and finish what God has given us. Yes. Amen. Yes. Whatever race, whatever mission He's given you, you're yes. to fulfill it. You know, all you have to do is, is look to Him and ask Him for strength, or just go to Him and say, Cast all these cares on Him. Lord, I need to finish this mission that you've given me. And when he gave you these things, he uh, called, you have his calling on you, you have this anointing on you, mm -hmm. he's equipped you to fulfill whatever you, mission he's called you to do. That's right. <laughs> Amen. So Amen. now you know, <laughs> I can't, I, I can't, um, I can't fail unless I choose to stop. Yes, I can't fail yeah. unless I choose to just that's give right. it up. Amen. And you know, you've been knocked down. If you've been knocked down oh, and you're still down, it's time to get up. Dust yeah. yourself off. Get up and press on with the things of God. He didn't call you to quit. He didn't call you to go halfway. He called you to go and fulfill what God gave you to do. Amen. And then he says, you can do all things through all Christ things. who strengthens you. Yeah. You need strength. All you have to do is ask. Amen. Amen. You need strength. All you have to do is remember, <laughs> the joy of the Lord is your strength. Yes. Put a smile on your face. Get yeah. up. Dust yourself off. Show people that you're wrong. So what? 
Yeah. It's time to press on. Cast Amen. it on him. Yeah. Forgive him. And press on with yes. the things of God. You know, right. we just can't have these pity parties, you know. That's right. So get up. Mm -hmm. Don't stop. Don't quit. Press on and finish. Amen. Yes. What he's yes. given you. Looking away from all uh, that distracts us. They have many distractions. Mm -hmm. Focusing our eyes on Jesus, who is the author and perfecter of faith. Yes. The first incentive of our belief and uh -huh. the one who brings our faith to maturity. Yeah. So we are to continue to grow in him. Yeah. On a daily basis. And that's yeah. why we gather ourselves, uh, assemble ourselves together as, as a body of believers, mm -hmm. encouraging one another. Amen. Amen. Maturing in the things of God. And you see, brother or sister, mm -hmm. that is not as mature as you have in en encouraging them and saying, you know, I, I, I was there before, mm -hmm. and you can make it. I know you yeah. can make it. You know, I've got a word for you. You're going to make it. Yeah. Amen. You can do all things through Christ. All You're growing. I see, I, see, I see you growing. I see you maturing in the things of God. Amen. Encouraging one another. We're to complete one another and not compete. We're not to say, well, I know it all. You know, I've got a doctor's degree. So what? Mm. You know, we're not to put people down. We're to pick That's people right. up. Amen. Amen. So That's praise good. God. Remember that. If you're doing that, it's time to stop. Uh -huh. And complete one another as a yes. body of Christ. We need to be complete. And we need to be in unity. Yeah. And then we need to be working together as a Amen. child, as, as a body of Christ. Amen. Yes. Ooh, hallelujah. Praise That's, God. Hope somebody Amen. receives that. Amen. Yeah. <laughs> I receive it. Hallelujah. Amen. Accomplishing, let me see where I left off, mm. to maturity, mm -hmm. who for the joy of accomplishing the goal mm -hmm. set before him endured the cross. Yes. The joy. <laughs> he sees it a joy. You know, he could have turned this down, but he, mm -hmm. he wanted to fulfill what God, what, what the Father sent him to do. Yes. He says, I'll go. I'll do it. You know, mm -hmm. but you know he went. He was he, as a, as as a human. Yeah. He needed strength, so he yeah. went met with the Father on a daily basis. How about us? Mm -hmm. He set our example. That's our example. Mm -hmm. Lord, I need you on a daily basis. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm fighting this thing. I've got this thing, but I'm giving it to you. It's time to give it up mm -hmm. and press on. I've accomplished. Well, I'm doing the cross, disregarding the shame, and set down at the right hand. Of the throne of God, revealing his deity, his authority, <laughs> interceding for us, mm -hmm. and the completion of his work. Amen. So he's up there, and all these Bible heroes are up there, yeah. <laughs> Come on. pulling for us, mm -hmm. cheering us on. So, you know, when you feel sad, don't let the sadness hold you back. That's right. Just give it up to him. That's mm -hmm. another way. You know, say, Lord, I'm just giving this to you. Mm -hmm. Amen. But I want to press on. I want to fulfill what you called me to do. Yes. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. God is good. God Amen. is good all the time. Mm -hmm. Praise God. Thank you, Amen. Lord. Praise God. You know, he's interceding for us. Yes. So, you know, the enemy will try to have you feel like, you know, you're all by yourself. Mm -hmm. Isolated. He wants to isolate you. Mm -hmm. You know, hey, so-and-so told me God can't use you anymore. And you're all alone. But it's time that you get in the Word and find out that's not scriptural. Mm. I got to get up and press on, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. Got to press on. Amen. We can press on and do all things through Him. Praise God. Amen. Amen. So give it all to Him. It's about new beginnings. It's about the second chance, mm -hmm. the third chance, the fourth chance, yeah. the fifth chance, or whatever many chances you've had. Right. But you know what? It's time that you do it in about face. Mm -hmm. It's time that you turn around mm -hmm. and say, Lord, you know, I blew it, but I'm here. Mm -hmm. Amen. Make a change. You know, turn around and come back to the Father. Amen. Yeah. Just like Amen. the prodigal son says, yeah, right. <laughs> I could do better at Father's house. Mm -hmm. Amen. So, he knows all about you, knows everything about you, yes. and loves you the most. That's right. Amen. People find out all about you, and they hate you the most. Mm. <laughs> so he's all about the second chance, the third chance, or whatever many chances. Forgiveness, letting go and letting God. Mm. Just let it go. Mm. Amen. It's all you got to do. Yeah. Putting the past behind and pressing on. I got to do my part. Mm -hmm. And be a participator and not a spectator. Yeah. 
And I just sit down and say, well, you know, you can't use me anymore, so I'm just going to sit back and mm -hmm. talk about people mm -hmm. and see what people are not doing. No, mm -hmm. it's time to participate and be yes. a part, just like this human body. Every part of it is participating. Mm -hmm. Every part is being used, and every part has every part <laughs> has a mission, mm -hmm. and every part is fulfilling its mission. Yeah. But it's fulfilling a mission in unity. As yeah. the body of Christ, we need to flow in unity mm -hmm. and fulfill what God has called us to do. Yes. We're about to close this year. <laughs> Getting close. Mm -hmm. Now, 2019, and start the new uh, 2020. Mm -hmm. Don't bring your burdens, your cares, your problems into. Oh, boy. <laughs> Your new year. Don't bring your problems into your new day. Don't bring your problems into the next month. Mm -hmm. You leave it all behind. Mm -hmm. Amen. We can't say that enough. Somebody yeah. needs this. Somebody yeah. needs to hear this. Mm -hmm. You know, it's time to give it all up. Yeah. You know, you hear it, but now you got to take some action. Mm -hmm. You got to let it go. Yeah. Bible says to confess it, cast it on the Lord yes. because He cares for you. Yeah. It's time that you stop carrying it. It's time for you, for you to give it up. And put it Amen. where it belongs, you know. Yeah. Praise God. Amen. So not even from tomorrow. You know what? Today has got new work, new problems for us. Yes. Okay. It says, but the mercies of God are new every day. Mm -hmm. Amen. So he's going to be there for you. Mm -hmm. He's been there already. So I praise God. You know, hey, I know he's been there. So I can trust in him. Yes. Praise God. Amen. Some of the burdens and cares we have on a daily basis. But during the months of... Uh, well, not October, but November, December are months of giving. Seems like cares, problems, and burdens, anxieties increase. Mm. Some feel like they don't have anything to give. Mm. And we've gone through this before. Amen. But you do have something that you can give. Yes. Amen. Yes. There's, <laughs> that you feel like there's no way out, no finances. Some people feel like giving up. Others feel like failures. Mm. Some feel like they're super overstressed. Mm. Remember Mm. That you have the love of God. You yes. have the compassion of God you can give. Yeah, that's you free. can give. That's mm -hmm. free. You have kind words mm -hmm. to give. Amen. That's when yes. you try to, when you imitate him and you get more of God in you and yeah. you get the word of God in you, the word of God is going to come out. And yeah. you give people a kind word. You yeah. give people uh, your time. You give people all kinds of things you can give that are free for you to give. Yes. Amen. We have a, a list of things. That are, that are free. So many things yeah. as you grow and mature in Him, there's so many things that you can give. And it's all not, it's not about finances. That's right. Amen. There's many things you can give. Amen. A smile. So give a smile. Those are hard to come by now. Yeah. <laughs> Get rid of that frown. And you want people to come around you, you know, and you're yeah, wearing sweet. a frown all the time. You know, nobody wants to be around you with a frown, you know. Oh. Put a smile on that'll attract people. Amen. Yeah. So praise God. <laughs> Praise God. <laughs> Remember again, First Peter five seventy nine and uh -huh. Psalms uh, fifty five and twenty two. Cast it all on Him. Give it all to Him. Yes. Hallelujah. So Amen. beautiful. <coughs> this is a nice way of presenting Jesus, our Savior, as our trash man. Mm. Our garbage collector, no, and how he cleans us and takes no. our garbage of sins, Amen. so that we can have, so that we can be clean to serve him. Yeah. How he can take our garbage of sin and shame, mm. Amen, and, and we can cast it on him. Mm. Our heavy bags of regret, mm. and cast it on him in these landfills and mm. these dumps, Amen. Amen. Yeah. Of sinfulness, you know, mm. just just give it to him of forgiveness. Mm. Jesus has done this for us. So we got to take this old baggage of sins and exchange it for new beginnings, for new life in him. Amen. The new you, pleasing him and not pleasing people. Mm -hmm. Amen. Lord, I just <laughs> get rid of the old me and now I'm a new me. St. Corinthians, we're going to lead us to St. Corinthians 5.17. It says, new life. Mm -hmm. You know, and we're new creatures in Christ. New creatures. A new life. Okay, yes. the old is out, the new yeah. is in. Amen? Amen. When everyone is in Christ, it is a whole new world. Yeah. All things are gone. Suddenly, yeah. everything is new. Mm -hmm. See yourself the way he sees you. Amen? Amen. <coughs> Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. The world sees you, the old you. Yeah. Still. Family, friends, oh, yeah. people still see the old you because they see 
they see you physically. I mean, uh, yeah, the physical part of you. Yeah. But on the inside, remember your spirit, your soul, and you have no, this no. body. You're a new creature in Christ. You mm -hmm. had a spiritual birth. Yes. Amen. You had a spiritual birth. You're born again. Your spirit man, your soul, renew your mind to the things of God. Amen. Mm -hmm. So you had a spiritual birth, mm -hmm. but people still see the physical you. Yeah. They still see your flesh, <laughs> and they say, well, you're still the same. Mm -hmm. So now your words and your actions are going to change as you start maturing in him, mm -hmm. as you start to imitate him. Mm -hmm. Say, wait a minute. Yeah. You didn't. You don't hang around with the same crowd. Uh -uh. You don't say the things you used to say. Thank you're God. saying other things. Mm -hmm. You're going to church. You're assembling yourself with those Christians over there now. Yeah. When are you going to come and hang out with us again? Oh. Uh, I don't think I'm going to unless God tells me to go and mm -hmm. share Jesus with you. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. That's all right because you know they share all their bad news and uh -huh. all the things, all the bad things they're doing, mm -hmm. and you're holding back. And you can even say, well, you know what? I used to do those things, but now Jesus is my Savior. So I just want to share Jesus with you. Amen. They can share my bad news with you. Why not share the good news mm -hmm. with them? Amen. <laughs> Praise right. God. Praise God. Listen, 2 Corinthians, uh, read this. I uh, wrote something on here which says, 2 Corinthians 5, 17 says, when anyone is in Christ, mm -hmm. then anyone I circle mm -hmm. and I put my name in there. Yeah. So I've told you this so many times, but personalize your Bible. Yeah. Underline it, highlight it. Yeah. You know? Mine. If you if, <laughs> if you happen to pick up my Bible, shouldn't happen, but if you happen to take my Bible <laughs> or steal my Bible <laughs> or maybe I give it to you. But if you happen to take if you happen to take it and you see it and you open it up, it's not going to be real pretty. <laughs> it's going to be highlighted. It's going to be scratched. Oh, it's going to have uh, underlines. It's going to have all kinds of markings on it. And you're going to say, "Oh man, I don't want this. Go throw it away." Well, don't do that. You know, do this to your yeah, yeah. Bible. Yeah. You know, get it to where you can see it, where you can read it. Put your name on there where it says uh, uh -huh. you, I. Yeah. You know, anything, anything like that. So Amen. when anyone is in Christ, it is a whole new will. So anyone yeah. there, I just scratched and put Jose yeah. on there, okay? Yeah. So you put your name on there. Mm -hmm. Jesus, our Savior, who can take all our garbage on his shoulders and still stand. Yes. John 3.16 says what? For God so loved the will uh -huh. that he sent his son, his only son, Jesus Christ. And Jesus showed his agape love, his unconditional love for us. He came and paid the price. Mm -hmm. Amen. He yeah. came and fulfilled what God sent him to do, yes. what Father sent him to do. Yes. Amen. And you know, when you do this, and when God or Father calls you home, mm -hmm. he's going to say, well done, good and faithful son. Yes. Amen. And receive you with open arms. Amen. Just like he received his son. I'm sure he, he was very happy for son fulfilling what God, what Father sent him to do. Amen. Mm -hmm. So he's going to have be happy with us. Give it all to him. Cast it on him. Remember, cast it, throw it with force. Yes. Don't you say, well, you know, I'm not going to throw these too far because I want you back. <laughs> <laughs> no, get rid of it. Let it go. Amen. Life brings circumstances that cause anxieties, worries, cares, problems, troubles, fears. Panics, because oh. I know you don't have those problems here. Yeah. <laughs> Emotions can run high at some point. Yeah. The loss of control can happen due to carrying these extra cares and extra weights around with you. Mm -hmm. Amen. So we invite. Sometimes we open the door to things we don't need to open the door to. Mm -hmm. So be careful. You need to open the door to follow me because Jesus, when he says he's mm -hmm. he's at the door and he's knocking. Mm -hmm. Matthew eleven twenty eight 28 to 30. You can mark that down. The New King James says, Come to me, all that labor and are heavy laden. I will give you rest. Mm -hmm. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me. For I am gentle and lowly in heart. Mm -hmm. And you will find rest for your souls. And verse 30 says, For my yoke is easy mm -hmm. and my burden is light. Amen. Yeah, you, you know, in this world you're going to have problems. Yeah. <laughs> he says, But be of good cheer, he says. I have overcome 
to work. Amen. So guess what? You'll be an overcomer also. Amen. So don't see yourself with all these things. See yourself given these Amen. things. Amen. And cast them on him. Yeah. And not have them. Don't carry them yourself. Amen. The uh, easy to read version says this. Come to me all you that are tired and you have heavy burdens. You have been forced to carry. Mm. You have been forced to carry. I will give you rest. 29 says, accept my teachings, learn from me. I am gentle and humble in spirit, and you will be able to get some rest. And verse 30 says, yes, the teachings that I ask you to, to accept is easy. The load I give you to carry is light. Yes. Amen. When we do it his way, yes. God's way, not our way. That's right. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. So remember, 2 Corinthians 5, 17 says, a new life. A new creatures in Christ. Amen. Mm -hmm. So when you, you got to see yourself this way. Mm -hmm. Because the world's not going to see you this way. That's right. When you hang around, with, you come around, uh, go visit someone, and people see you, and they still see the same you. Mm -hmm. But inside, I'm different. And what's going to come out of me as I fill myself with the Word of God, and faith is going to come in mm -hmm. me, and fears are going to come out. They're going to leave. They got to go. They can't stay in there where faith is. Yeah. Amen. So now, also, I'm imitating my father, and my words and my actions are going to be different. I say, something happened to you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, something happened to me. And you know, the same thing can happen to you. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Because they're still going through the same cycle, losing yeah. cycle, you know, hurting yeah. cycle. Yeah. The same cycle over and over and over, you know, it's just like the. The little hamster on that little wheel, you know, maybe going 100 miles, but guess what? He ain't going nowhere. Mm. Still going through the same, uh, what do you call those, uh, <coughs> spiritual uh, mm. curses, you know? Same thing. Over and over and over. Over mm. again. Mm. Hallelujah. Where did I leave off? No, no. Uh, Colossians 3, 1 and 2 says this. Basically, what uh, basically what uh, what uh, Saint Corinthians said, and we can go there. Colossians, let's read it. And you more or less it's the same thing that uh, uh, Saint Corinthians five seventeen said, but Colossians three chapter three verses one and two. Amen. Mm -hmm. If ye then be risen with Christ. Oh, yeah. Seek those things which are above where Christ sitteth on the right hand of God. Two says, set your affections on things above and not on things on the earth. Amen. 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 <clears throat> this translation says, easy to read version, says, you were raised from the dead with Christ. So live for what is in heaven where Christ is sitting at the right hand of God. Think only of what is up there and not what's on the earth. Amen. <laughs> you know, hey, I'm just a pilgrim. I'm just a child of God. Mm. Just going through this world. I'm not of this world. I'm just passing through. Yeah. My home is heaven. Mm. On a daily basis, remind yourself. Mm. But you know what? We're on a mission to share good news mm -hmm. with the people. Amen. Yeah. Because people still need Christ. Amen. Amen. They need Christ, and we're to share the good news, the gospel, Amen. the word of God. Amen. Yes. So praise God. <clears throat> Listen to the message version of Colossians 3, 1 and 2 says, So if you're so serious about living new, uh, this new uh, resurrection life with Christ, act like it. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> Let's not just be pretenders mm. or actors. <laughs> mm. We have to be serious mm -hmm. <laughs> wherever we go. You know, hey, yeah. you know what? The real stuff starts <laughs> when you leave these four walls. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you, on your mission, and the brothers and sisters are no longer around. Mm. <laughs> and what crowds are you going to hang out with? Mm -hmm. And what things are you going to see? What things mm -hmm. are you going to do? What's your words and your actions going to be like? Mm. You know, you're still entertaining certain things. Mm. And you come around church, and you can say all the right things and act mm -hmm. the right way. And amens and a whatever, hallelujahs. <laughs> but when you leave here, you're totally different. Mm. He says, he says, and the message says, 
So if you're serious about living this new resurrection life with Christ, act like it. Yeah. Live it. Okay? Amen. Amen. It says, pursue the things over which Christ presides. Don't shuffle around, don't shuffle along, <coughs> eyes to the ground, absorb with the things right in front of you. Mm -hmm. Look up, be alert yeah. to what is going on around mm -hmm. Christ. That's where the action is. Mm -hmm. See things with his point of view. Okay. See things with his perspective. Mm -hmm. See things with his outlook. Yeah. You know, when you see things, and instead of putting things down, instead of putting people down, mm. see them through his eyes, yes. through God's eyes. That's and you true. see his, with his love mm -hmm. and compassion. You know, just feeling sorry for them ain't going to help nothing. When you see it with God's love and compassion, we can help. Amen. Yeah. So let's, let's, let's remember, be Christ-like. <laughs> he says, act like it. <laughs> yeah. Set your priorities right on a daily basis. Matthew 6. Let's go there. Matthew 6, 31 through 33. Mm -hmm. Set your priorities right on a daily basis. Matthew, Mark, Luke, John. Matthew. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Matthew chapter 6, <clears throat> verses 31 through 33. Oh, yeah. Okay. Mine's a red all over my church. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yellow. <laughs> red, yellow, green. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Black. <laughs> Whatever color. Thirty-one. Therefore take no thought, saying, What shall we eat? Or what shall we drink? Or what uh wherewithal shall we be clothed? And verse thirty two, for after all these things do the Gentiles seek. For your heavenly Father knoweth that ye have need of all these things. But, 33 says, But seek first the kingdom of God, his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Yes. Amen. Of course, 34 says, <clears throat> And therefore take no thought for tomorrow, for the morrow shall <clears throat> take uh, thought for the things of itself. Sufficient unto the day is the evil thereof. Amen. 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 So, mm -hmm. oh, hallelujah. Yes. Today is hallelujah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about tomorrow. See, worry King about James tomorrow. says, Therefore do not worry, uh -huh. saying, What shall I eat, or what shall we drink, or what shall we wear? Mm. Verse 32, For after all these things the Gentiles seek, mm -hmm. for your heavenly Father knows what you need all these things. Mm -hmm. In verse 33, but seek first the kingdom of God, his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Oh, boy. <laughs> yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. Yeah. So praise God, you know, on a daily basis. How mm -hmm. can a believer enjoy and be happy and joyful, have a joyful life? <laughs> but one of the things that can help you a whole lot is cast all your cares on him yeah. on a daily yeah. basis. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. And give it all up to him. Quit yeah. worrying about all these Amen. things, you know. Go to bed worrying, wake up worrying. Oh, that ain't going to help you none. Yeah. Cast it on him. Amen. That's yeah. going to brighten up your uh, <clears throat> life. Yes. Put a pep in your step, you know. Uh -huh. And say, hallelujah, you know, I'm so excited. <laughs> you want to go and share with somebody. Mm -hmm. You know, while you're feeling down, it says while you're walking, looking down, feeling sad, nobody wants to be around you. Mm -mm. You know, but you're looking up, saying, hallelujah, praise God, put yes. a smile on your face. People want to come around you, amen, yeah. and share with them. Don't be ashamed, you know, to say, you know, why are you always feeling so well? Why are you always <laughs> feeling so good? Say, <laughs> because Jesus is Lord of my life, yeah. amen. Yeah, I used to oh. be down and out all the time, you know. All the time. <laughs> oh. Wake up, you know, top of tables and drunk and all oh. these other things, you know. Stone all the time. Uh -uh. Not anymore. I just get high with the most high. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. So casting all cares on him daily so you can stay in control and not be out of control. Yeah. Speak to your cares, your mountains, your giants. Yes. Don't let them talk to you. Right. Magnify your God and not your problems. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. When you magnify him, you know, everything's mm -hmm. got to be pushed aside. Mm -hmm. Say, Lord, it is you. It's about you. You know, I can do all things through you. I see myself a winner. I see myself a champion. I see myself yeah. an overcomer. And I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Amen. 
when you take yourself, when you take him off the throne and put yourself up there, you see, huh? I can't do this. How am I going to do this? You, know, you see yourself. You don't see yourself the way you should be. You should. You should be. Anyway. Anyway, when you step out in faith, you step out in faith, not in fear. He's yeah. not giving us a spirit of fear, but a power of love and a sound mind. Greater yeah. is he in you than he is in the world. And you can do all things all through Christ who strengthens right. you. Yeah. And remember this. God is bigger than any mountain that I can or cannot see. That's right. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Praise God. God Amen. is bigger than yes. all my problems, yes, cares, is. burdens. It doesn't matter. That's He's right. bigger. When you start Amen. seeing yourself that way, yeah. as David saw, he saw the giant. He saw the mountain. He said, my God is bigger than Amen. this guy. You know? <laughs> he said, when the bear came, when the lion came, mm -hmm. my God saw me through this. Yes. And who is this uncircumcised Philistine? Yeah. You know? yeah. I can. We'll close with this, okay? Yeah. Philippians 4 and 6 through 8 says, Don't worry about anything. Be anxious for nothing. Instead, pray yes. in everything. Tell God what you need oh and thank Him for all He has done. Yeah, man. Then you will experience God's peace, Amen. which exceeds anything that um, we can understand. His peace mm -hmm. will guard your heart and yeah. mind as you live in Christ. And now, dear brothers and sisters, one thing, this, this final thing, fix your thoughts on what is true, oh, what is honorable, right, and pure, and lovely, and admirable. Think about things that are excellent and worthy to be praised. <clears throat> yeah. Again, God is telling us, cast all those cares on me. On him. Amen. You're not told to cast a certain amount, some, or little, or half. He says, cast all, all your cares on him. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, if I just give him half, you know, I can worry about half and he can have the rest of it. No. No, he says cast all. Mm. All means all. Mm. Okay? <laughs> Amen. Yes, hallelujah. He does. He can do better. And he knows what to do mm -hmm. with it more than we can do. Amen. 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 Better than we can do. Amen. 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 So let it go. Let, let it, it go and let God yes. give it all to him. Yes. Hallelujah. So praise Amen. God. We all know this, but we still want to hold on to it. So don't let it go. Don't 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 hold back. Give it all to him. Amen? Amen. Give it all to him. Amen. And be the best thing God has called you to be. Amen. Amen. When you give it all to him, you step out in faith yes. and fulfill all God has called you to be. Yes. Amen. Amen. And know that I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Amen. Amen. And come along and share with someone yes. and let them know. That you can do all things through Christ. Amen. Mm -hmm. Let them know that you can fulfill what God has called you to do. I used to be there, but not anymore. Mm -hmm. Now Amen. I can do it. Amen. Because God is, I am with God. Amen. He is yes. with me. He says he never leaves you nor forsakes you. That's right. He's always with you. So know that. Amen. So praise God. All those of you that are listening by audio or watching by video, mm -hmm. if you've never accepted Christ as your Lord and Savior, now is the time. You know, just say, Lord Jesus. I've sinned against you. Forgive me. Come into my heart. Be my Lord and Savior. Amen. Yes. And start a new life today with him. Cast Amen. all those cares on him because yes. he cares for you. Amen. Amen. Go and join a Bible-based church, you know, yes. where you can start learning the word of God and get you a, a Bible where you can read the word for yourself. Amen. Amen. And not listen to what so-and-so says, you know. Amen. Know what you're reading is the truth because this is yes. the truth that's going to set you free. Yes. Amen. So praise God. Amen. 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 <clears throat>